glad you thought that Trolley was lovable. Um, he's supposed to be lovable. Uh, it was never a conscious decision. I, I never sat down and thought to myself, well, Trolley's never gonna say anything. Um, I think if anything, it was more kind of a self-defensively practical decision where if the troll was gonna speak, what was he gonna say? If he was gonna speak in English, um, was he gonna have a sort of different dialect um, because English was not his first language? Or if he was gonna speak in some kind of troll language, um, both of those things take development and uh, they take a certain amount of effort. And so perhaps having him not speak was the path of least resistance. Um, but also, um, I suppose uh, a book like The Arrival by Sean Tan is a good example where um, when a character is um, in The Arrival, the, the principal character, he goes to a country where he doesn't speak the language and so there's no, there's no actual English text, well there's no text of any kind um, in, in the story and so this idea that the troll is in a, a place where he can't, he doesn't have kind of like the basics of communication that most of us sort of take for granted on a day-to-day -day basis that seemed to kind of tie into this idea of him just not understanding uh the environment in which he's uh he's placed obviously he can understand what franny is saying um because she says things and he responds to them directly but um yeah it, it just never it never became important for him to say anything um he he didn't need he didn't need a voice for his character to work and for his character to be appealing and and I think probably subconsciously at some point uh, during the process, I just made the decision um, organically uh, to not have him say anything because it just made the most sense as I went through and, and made the story.